Here's a brief video on the latest signal to be uh, added to my collection. This is a GE four-way. Um, the story behind getting the signal is kind of interesting. Um, back in October of 2010, me and a few local signal collectors went out to southwest Michigan uh, to the city of Coldwater where this signal and a matching GE four-way were hanging at the intersection of Clay Street and Pearl Street. Uh, so we went out that way, we took some pictures and kind of documented one of the last remaining fixed four-way intersections still uh, still in active service on a Mich over Michigan Road. Um, in 2011, this signal and the matching one that was paired with it were pulled from service and uh, at the time the fate of these signals were uh, unknown, uh, soon to just be thrown out or scrapped at the time. Just last October, I happened to stumble across these photos on my computer, just kind of, kind of randomly, and uh, happened to uh, decided to contact the city of Coldwater to see if there was any information pertaining to these signals, if they were saved, or uh, any photos or other information uh, regarding them. And it turns out both four ways were saved after they were pulled from service and stored in an indoor lock shed for those five or six years. And I offered to purchase both four ways from the city of Coldwater uh, and picked them up in November. Uh, you'll notice I've got one here, one of the GE four ways. The other GE four way that was paired with it was, was sold to uh, a collector that came with us back in 2010. So they both went to collectors that uh, have plenty of photos of them hanging and in service. Um, so basically, the signal is in exactly the same condition that it was when it was in service. I have uh, rewired it because the, ex the original socket wiring was uh, completely rotted out and needed to be rewired before uh, any power could be applied to it. So I rewired all 12 sockets with uh, standard uh, rubber wiring. And uh, other than that, everything else is uh, exactly the same, same lenses. Uh, I haven't taken it apart. I, I did clean it up. I washed it down um, and vacuumed it out because there was quite a bit of dirt and bugs and whatnot inside of it. And uh, the finish is uh, olive green, which is inside. That's the original finish. And the uh, outside has uh, several layers of yellow brushed on paint from its uh, time in service. We'll open it up here and take a look inside. Here's the inside of one of the sections. It's got 12 what we call serial bulb reflectors that mount to the door. They are glass. Not sure if uh, you can hear the glass sound when I tap it, but they're uh, all 12 are intact and glass reflectors. You can see here the wiring that I had to redo. This is not the original wiring that came with the light, obviously. I pulled this uh, rod back. Pull that forward, you can see the front of the reflector and all 12 signal lamps inside the signal are all the original lamps that the signal came with and likely were the, uh, well they were the last uh, lamps in it when it was pulled from service. So it's the original lamps, as original as it gets. Doing that one handed ain't easy. And I don't know how well it's going to come out in a video, but there's a GE logo Oop. on the lens, on each of the glass lenses. There are 10 glass lenses and two yellow replacement plastic lenses, Eagle Poly lenses. There's one of the replacements. Same uh, arrangement, didn't take any of the lenses out. I am keeping the signal as is and eventually we'll be hanging a picture up uh, on the wall next to it of uh, the signal while it was hanging in service. So that's a little bit uh, about the latest signal in my collection. Thanks for watching.